Schubert's Big Voice by Dr. Becky A. Bailey and Lee Ann Burdick. <clears throat> it's the first day of school in Bug Valley. Schubert is so excited that while getting dressed, he sings, hooray, hooray, it's a wonderful day. Schubert's sister, Sophie, hears him singing and shouts out, I know a secret. Schubert, being a lightning bug, gets so excited that his body lights up with a golden glow. What? What? What is the secret? He asks. <clears throat> Sophie looks to see if anyone is around then quietly whispers to Schubert, there is a new teacher at school who does magic. She's a beautiful butterfly named Mrs. Bookbinder. My friend told me Mrs. Bookbinder can make rainbows appear. Schubert isn't sure he believes his new teacher can make rainbows appear. He is sure that he is excited. So he continues to sing his song. Hooray, hooray. It's a wonderful day. Hooray, hooray, I'm on my way. While singing, Schubert has a brilliant idea. I'll take Mrs. Bookbinder an apple. It will be a gift to help her feel welcome in Bug Valley. Schubert carefully packs his apple into his backpack so it won't get squished, squashed, smashed, or splattered. Off he goes to school. When Schubert reaches the door of his classroom, he gently pulls out the apple to admire his gift. It is the shiniest, biggest, reddest, juiciest apple Schubert has ever seen. He safely places the apple back in his bag. <clears throat> Just then, Benny pushes his way through the door, trampling over Schubert. Bam, Schubert hits the floor. Slam, the backpack falls open. Bump, out rolls the apple. Oh, yells Schubert as he watches the apple bounce across the room. Bump, bump. It stops at Benny's feet. Look, an apple, yum. I am so hungry, Benny says with delight. Hey, that's mine, shouts Schubert from the floor. Benny just laughs and puts the apple in his pocket. When Schubert sees Benny take his apple, he feels his face get hot and his insides quiver. He can hear his heart beat, beat, beating. He feels mad, really mad. Benny has taken his apple and Schubert doesn't know what to do about it. Suddenly, Schubert feels a soft breeze blow across his face as a beautiful butterfly appears. Greetings, my friend, she states. My name is Mrs. Bookbinder. Schubert looks up at his new teacher. She looks like an eight foot tall angel. Mrs. Bookbinder says in a soothing voice, your arms are folded like this and your forehead is wrinkled just like this. Schubert feels understood. His body begins to relax. <clears throat> you seem very mad. Something scary must have happened. She asks as she reaches out her hand to help Schubert to his feet. Without thinking, he takes her hand. As he stands up, she kneels down. Eye to eye, Schubert feels a sense of comfort and safety as he shares his story. I brought you an apple. It was the shiniest, biggest, reddest, juiciest apple ever. And Benny knocked me down and took it. Mrs. Bookbinder instantly understands. 
Schubert feels mad because Benny pushed him down and took his apple. Schubert did not know the words to use to express himself to Benny to get his apple back. Did you like it when he pushed you? Mrs. Bookbinder asks. No way, it hurt and I dropped everything. Schubert snaps. A slow, firm voice, Mrs. Bookbinder guides Schubert. Then go tell Benny. Tell him, I don't like it when you push me. Give me back my apple. Say it now for practice. Me? Tell Benny? Schubert's eyebrows rise up and his eyes open wide. His knees tremble as he swallows two big gulps in his throat. Gulp, gulp. Then he whispers in a little tiny voice, I don't like it when you push me. Mrs. Bookbinder senses Schubert is feeling scared. So she takes his hand. Schubert, let's find your big voice. Make your voice match mine. She speaks slowly and firmly. I don't like it when you push me. Give me back my apple. Schubert listens carefully. <clears throat> Schubert understands what he needs to do. He needs to use his big voice so Benny will listen to his words. Schubert collects his courage by taking a deep breath. Then he firmly says, I don't like it when you push me. Give me back my apple. Mrs. Bookbinder nods. Practice is over. Schubert is ready to talk to Benny. Schubert, with his heart beating fast, walks toward Benny. <clears throat> Standing straight and tall in front of Benny, Schubert says in his big voice, I don't like it when you push me. Give me back my apple. All is quiet in the classroom. Benny stares at Schubert. Schubert stares at Benny. Mrs. Bookbinder watches them both. Then Benny reaches into his pocket. You mean this apple? He questions. Yes, that apple, says Schubert, looking directly into Benny's eyes. Okay, here you go. And Benny hands the apple to Schubert. Schubert is shocked and excited. His whole lightning bug body lights up with joy. Wow, my words have power. My words have power. My words have power. He jumps with joy. Then, like magic, he sees a rainbow appear out the window. You really are magic, he says to Mrs. Bookbinder with amazement. He proudly gives her the shiniest, biggest, reddest, and juiciest apple ever. Schubert, we are all magic, Mrs. Bookbinder says. We just need to believe in ourselves and each other. I do believe, Schubert says. I do believe. Schubert feels elated and continues to sing his song. Hooray, hooray, it's a wonderful day. Hooray, hooray, I'm on my way. Stop, I don't like it, are powerful words to say. It's magic, I can use every day. The class joins in and they all sing Schubert's song together. Hooray, hooray, it's a wonderful day. Hooray, hooray, I'm on my way. Stop, I don't like it, are powerful words to say. It's magic I can use every day. 